go ahead and get started then, baby. Big comeback, okay? This game series has been so fire. I've been enjoying it. I don't know if you guys have. But let me know down below if it's been as great to you as it has been to me. Because, oh my God. Let's see this action, baby. I think this is, this should be the, this is the Austin McBroom one, I think. Stratford LDN. Oh, London. <laughs> Duh. Oh my God. Looks like my uncle. Jake Paul fight. I lost. <laughs> I lost in the first round. That's a really cool. Boss. Yeah. That sucks. I'm lucky I wasn't hurt. But yeah, we lost. Try to get a fight immediately, but lockdown, COVID, that made everything hard. Yeah. The breaking news: Stay at home. That is the I order say, tonight. As that's the what I was wondering. Was it? Spreads. See, the I feel like he kind of making excuses because uh, all the stuff that I'm hearing is he don't want to fight because of money. So was it money or was it COVID? I don't know about COVID. I don't know because everybody was still fighting in COVID. The virus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. I am officially declaring a national emergency. You must stay at home. And mandatory closure for any business, that's where we are. Jesus. The way ahead is hard, and we will beat it together. Doesn't it kind of blow your minds that, like, I don't even see commercials anymore for vaccines and stuff. Like, what happened to all that? Did was it all BS or did enough people get vaccinated that you just don't have to see it anymore? Like I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Like it was so crazy and it's just all gone now. Like yeah, I don't hear nothing about COVID anymore. Oh my god, he filled the tub. Do you guys think Gib has mold? I've been in your shoes. <laughs> There's water all over that man. I've been in your shoes. But have you been in mine? Is your pilot who you're fighting now? Oh, straight. What's up, guys? Bum. Here's another segment of buying things with Taylor. Oh, this was the Taylor Holder job. Uh, did you roll the montage? Dude is nasty. He's vicious. He is no fucking joke. Oh, talks of many he just made Gibb Taylor Holder look cooler than he's ever looked in his tonight. life. You guys all know I was supposed to be fighting an Isan Gibb, right? But luckily I saw an event on the timeline and there was one slot free. This event is going to be TikTokers versus YouTubers. This is going to happen. It is a bigger opportunity to fight against Taylor Holder, who's a big household name right now. I just don't think Taylor's going to fight Gibb. Taylor Holder is a bad matchup for Gibb. Definitely this kid's going to be the best on the call. Gibb fighting is not really your thing. He just can't box. Plain and simple. I was Gibb so surprised when they were talking about Taylor, Taylor Holder stepping in a ring, bro. The Nissan. What advice do you have for Taylor's opponent? Bring a pillow. Bring a pillow? Ryan Garcia was talking about the fight? There's a list of YouTubers that all have their debut fight, and there's one YouTube slot. And it's first the most experienced boxer on that card, Taylor Holder. It's going to be me. Who else fits for that card? It's going to be Gibber. It's going to be Gibber. There's no one else. That makes sense. There's no one Gibber else. Versus Taylor Holder, the fight for redemption. Oh, we love to see it. I'm dead on this card, and no one can stop me. See you soon, Taylor Holder, lad. <laughs> Bro, Gib can sell some, I'll tell you that. Now, did he sell that last fight he did when there was nobody in the crowd Taylor, when he was fighting think Austin? He don't stand a chance. Not really. Well, I'm going to prove them wrong. We're going to pray. Right we're going to hope on his chin. that he starts uploading Taylor, more. do you see it being an easy fight? Gib could be so amazing, I bro. I wish you luck, man. He's bro. got it. I'm about to fuck your ass up. He's got everything to be Gib, amazing. you need this. You need this redemption. The whole UK is behind you. They want to see Gib come out with a win. They say he's the best, but we'll see. I'm coming to win. You're gonna be picking your veneers from your gum shield. What's it? <laughs> Who see. is winning this fight? Fight for peace. Last week, come up for the fight. We'll put it on. Boom. Get me. Get me. 
Got it, plan. Got the plan. I've been roaming through different gyms, facing different amateur fighters all across England. And after many, many different gyms and many, many different coaches, I right. found the right team. My head coach is now Abdul. So this is going to be the last week of really trying to put Gibbs in a dark place, trying to really push his fitness, trying to get him there. I'm trying to make Gibbs the best Gibbs possible, trying to make Gibbs 2.0. Okay. Trying to make him better, make him tough, make him smoother. So by the time he gets in the ring, he's ferocious. You can, man. Come on. He's still bouncing a lot. Oh, I need him. I need him to drop that shoulder. Not drop that shoulder, but drop that elbow some more on those. Uh, on those low. Uh, what do you call those low body shots? making that he's been able to just not work or do knees, anything yeah. this whole time like he hasn't uploaded oh, oh, like oh, he, he, all he's been doing is just training because we're all pushing and one of working wins, bro so now we're in this dark place we have to enjoy it hell nah there's no never be scared to go in that dark place i think jake paul might definitely not J ksi Come on. Give me some more. Harder. Harder. Gibber doesn't train, they say. <laughs> Gibber doesn't train. I just want to see them. So basically, I hate that like Gibbs got sparring session. I hate that we're seeing, seeing this so late. But at the same time, I'm almost happy that we're getting it. But at the same time, I want to see the current shit. I want to like, what, what are you doing right now? I lived through these moments. I cried through these dark times. Okay, God damn it. I'm tired of reliving it. Two minute rounds. It's been usually sparring three rounds. Today's got a taller opponent, trying to keep it realistic to what his opponent's going to be. And then, yeah, we should see how he gets on. I haven't got a clue how he's going to get on. What's happening, people? It's your boy, Crypto Montana. I'm here with Gib. He's preparing for his next fight. So I'm an elite level boxer. I've been fighting for about six or seven years. He's given me some proper, proper boxing work. Ain't no nigga named Crypto nothing about to apply no type of pressure to me. What the fuck? Today. What? Crypto who? You better knock this nigga the fuck out. Rub 
rubbish, it was pitter patter, it weren't realistic, it was play fighting. You've got a fight coming up soon, and that's pillow fighting. Last time you had a fight, you got exposed. Wake up. I fucking love that nigga, bro. <laughs> If anybody gonna tell you how it is, it's gonna be Big Daddy right there, boy. That nigga gonna be real as shit every time. I think that's why a lot of people be scared to train with him for real. Cause he gonna talk his shit to you. Same height as you, Joe? Nah, I got at least three inches on him. Upstairs and downstairs. Oh! Pitting that nigga. Oh, he, he applies the pressure now. Come on, Gib. Come on, nah. Once he start applying that pressure, start dipping it, throwing bitches, man. Not really impressed. I'm impressed what at all. Thinking? I think they could have started a bit harder, a bit faster, kept it more realistic. Gibbs balance was still a bit off. A little bit raw, but I think if he sticks to the game plan, I think he's got a good chance. I really do. He's got a good power as well. I'm quite surprised. Yeah, he's all right, but power. He throws the shot, then gets caught afterwards. Yeah. That shit, Gib. Do you actually want to be here, bro? He's fucking putting in the time, bro. I just gotta see the effort in the ring. God, bro. We are now heading back to the roots. West Ham boxing. I wonder what it would have been like if Gib went completely undefeated from the so, like Imagine if Gib, JJ, fucking Deji. Kenny, imagine if all of the behemoths coming out of the UK just went completely undefeated. Trust. A couple times I just trusted. Right YouTube roll, boxing would be at a whole different level, bro. Over my head, but I didn't know he was gonna throw it. But I just did it on the pads. Right hand roll, and then I'd come up, bam, bam. I'm like, oh shit, okay. Because I think to myself, this is gonna damage your confidence. I'm like, let me damage your confidence quickly. That's why I think, let me, because if you're getting some boost, I'm like, you know, I'm going to drop my hands when you think that I'm going to make them tire. And then I'm going to tag you, bang. And then you're going to think, fuck, as he drop his hands in me, make you calm down again. Like, it's, it's part of a momentum thing. They said go 26. I said no. Because if I go 26. What? June 12th. They said, if you go on the 26th, you'll arrive on the 10th, weigh in at the 11th, fight the 12th. So they said go 24. I already pushed down the weight. They said go to 185. Now they're pressing again to go to 180, but I said no. Oof. What's your current weight now? Uh, uh, two heads. Uh, yeah, it is head. Who was caught in the face, though? 86.5. What are you meant to be? 83. You yourself just now, huh? He's got to lose three kilos? Uh, 83.9. No, it's There's a cut, the fight's off. Is it? That's the rule. Yeah, that's the rule. So there's a cut, there's a fight's off. 16 ounces. Really? Five twos. It's an exhibition, isn't it? Yeah, no time for foxy stuff. You've got to get in. By the time you know it, it'll be round three. Yeah, both, both up and busy. By the time you both, know make it, it'll be round three. Work. Cause think about it, it's two minute rounds, yeah? Yeah. That's why it's good to finish the round big. As well. So I, so I tried to even say well, it. Finish it. Yeah. You know you've got to start up and Finish it. last 10 seconds. You better rip! Fin what do you do? Finish the round. Rip. Finish the round big. It stains his mind whilst he goes back to his corner. Last 30 seconds is one quarter of the round. Yeah. And that's what I be saying, the niggas. That's what I be saying, bro. Watching all these fights the last like couple months, I've been telling niggas, oh my God, give it all you got the last 30 seconds every round. And every time they just, they just run or hide like little bitches. Nobody wants to fight. Everybody's always too tired. I want to see a war. We are watching the sparring see what Leon was talking about. In general, I thought I did good. Leon thinks otherwise. So now I'm gonna watch it back, see what I didn't do good, note him down for improvements. But Leon said I should have deleted him. I don't like the inside work that I did at the beginning. Oh no, that's all right. Hawk, hawk. I'm already liking that. Working off the jab. Nah, falling in. Falling in. No. Keep your hands up, Gib. 
Right, the first round sucked. No, Ali. Yeah. It's phases, phases, phases of greatness and phases, phases of fucking clumsy. I'm following them here. Let me write that. Let me write that. Okay, nice. We're cutting him down, okay. We're picking up the skills. Oi, that's all right, I like that. Long guard, jab. Okay. Come on. Yes. That's what I like, but then I got countered with an uppercut, but I like that. You seen the way I was working this morning? I was tired. It was fine, fine, fine. All right. I've seen that. Have I? Because I don't feel like I've seen him, bro. Sometimes, bro. I haven't bet in a while. I really want to bet this weekend, though, on uh, some of the Misfit stuff, but I don't know where they're doing the bets at. I usually do WNBA, bro. I've been trying to game the system. I usually be betting on WNBA or tennis. Get the body shot again. It's not just head hunting. You have to think in the ring. It's a thinking game. It's chess. You don't want to catch any unnecessary cuts. You have to keep your hand in front of your face. Any cut, the fight will be off. Could be round one. You get a cut. It's done. That's it. Yeah, yeah. High, but we're high enough. We're high enough. We're, we're high, high enough. enough. No, not high enough. Fifth round, no. one that good. Think about this. Think about this. You're going to his country, his shop. His, 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 his. They want any reason why we should not win the fight. Let's Facts. destroy this guy. You have to remember this. You're not one man in the ring. You have Leon shot on side. You have me shot on side. Yeah? Use our knowledge. Use that. Yeah, bro. You just bet the under. You win every time. Jumps on, okay. Your boy Gib ain't come to play with you boys, man. Bro, Gib would have some of the best promos ever if he just actually got his mind on right, bro. Biggest mistake he done was signing that contract. Oh, 
was that laugh? Shit is ass, dude. I think the NBA sucks. Bad news, hombre. That shit's so boring to watch. Taylor Hall just come out with a video. Social gloves weren't clear to him. He can't make weight. What do you mean? He's made a video saying that he's surprised that he's been told that. I got a text today saying that I need to come up to 175 pounds in order to fight Gib. I weigh 165 pounds, and Gib knew that I'm the A side. Quite frankly, you came in so last minute, and I don't give a fuck. You have no say in anything. It doesn't matter. Even if you get in the gym, you're gonna get dropped. It doesn't even matter. But yeah. like, you lose your fucking weight. Stop being a fuck. The outcome's bitch. gonna be the same, but just lose your weight. If I make weight, I'm fine. That's what they said. They said they said the original weight limit was 175 to 190. That was the weight limit. That big, 175 to 190. It's an excuse. They knew this from the beginning. They knew this from the beginning. The so now he has wait. to... Why are you stressing then? If it's in the contract, it's in the contract. Why, why are you stressing? Exactly. Why are you stressing? If it's I in the contract, it's in the contract. I don't want the fight to be off. Huh? The fight will be off if he doesn't make money. <laughs> it's the <laughs> way it is, isn't it? It's the way it is, isn't it? It is what it is. <laughs> The way I look at it is like Taylor can just keep it long when he tries to close distance, come with an uppercut, and Gib might fall onto a shot. I don't want that to happen. And I want to see that Gib is using his brain, he's I've thinking, been he's taking his time, not just rushing and being manic. Manic has no dry. space in the ring. I've been watching and niggas like, when I'm giving him do cement do, tests. He's messing up. Where they and just like frustrated. do a square and wet the, the cement, ring. and then on another square they like fully fucking don't wet the cement, and then on the other one they do like a dry versus a mixed and wet board. I'd rather watch that shit than watch the NBA right now. fucking fight like what the fuck are we doing here bro i thought we came here to give it everything i thought we came here to fucking die on our shield bro i'm not even fighting i'm watching more boxing than you and i'm not even fighting skip i skip to the boxing i skip i don't care what you skip have you been watching our opponent yeah have you been watching him daily have you been visualizing daily yeah no you haven't it's trash because if you watch you're punching a bad fire your opponent's not sure so don't come with that bs Boxing is a dangerous game. You don't play boxing. We're telling you stuff here, and you're acting back. We're telling you out of hate, or we don't, we're not telling you so you can correct yourself and get better. But you, in your head, try and get some ego. You're not doing it right, you're not doing it right. Simple as. Get it right. It's not hard. Why waste the opportunity? I told you already, opportunity knocks once. Nah, I understand that shit, bro. That's like, that, that nigga is just a real nigga. Like, it's not many people who gonna be real with you. Like. They want to see it from the dirt. Like they were like how he said that where he was like, if you were if you were really visualizing Taylor, like if you were in your head every day, every punch you threw, you were imagining yourself throwing that punch at Taylor. He was so right, bro. He was so right. You would be punching higher. You would be throwing up high. You would be visualizing fighting someone who is at a height advantage for you. You wouldn't be fighting low. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be quitting on the treadmill, you feel me? Like, every second of every day, he would be trying to find every little position. That's why he's saying, are you watching? The reason why they ask, are you watching, is because niggas want to know, like, are you trying to find every little hole you can to, to fucking figure this guy out? You know what I mean? Like, this shit crazy. Excuse me. I just get bitched on. <laughs> <laughs> I got bitched on. <laughs> Leon means well. Delivery is hella poor. But I know he means good. Body is tight. I don't think the delivery. It's on the I first think, time. I think if you, I think you can never say anything about how somebody's saying something to you if you're not giving 100%. If you're giving 100%, then you can, you can have something to say. But if you're not giving 100%, you can't, like, they just trying any and everything now to get you to see why you're not giving 100%. Like even the thing about like why are you stressing like 
why are we spending time right now talking about some shit and like almost like getting a, in a fuss about some shit that we already knew was a possibility? You know what I'm saying? Like you need somebody like that around you. That's that that nigga right there gonna have you thinking a hundred percent on all the time. Like, bro, I wish I could connect with somebody like Leon. Like that that fucking mindset, nigga. That shit is gold. So the first time I've been on this show on camp. I'm ready for this one. I need somebody like that in my life. Just somebody to fucking be real with you. That's like the complete opposite of a yes, man. I told you already, opportunity knocks once. They film me so good, bro. Like that, like that shot alone. Like what, what was that? Boxing and music event of the year. Social Gloves Battle of the Platforms. Please welcome Taylor Holder. That's your kill me, sir. Pounds point two. Representing Team YouTube, please welcome the second. Oh, this was the Fousey Tube era. Gibber, the beast from the east, Andisa. 79 pounds. They made it, ladies and gentlemen. They did it. Get a mic on that. We'll see. Over for you we'll tomorrow. See. We'll see. We'll fucking see. We'll see, won't we? Fucking bitch, man. Oh, that hit made me cry. So Jarvis brought that energy, boy. Oh, he ain't done shit since, but he did all right. Concentrate on your fight, Gibbs. Concentrate on your fight. No, nah, I'm like two behind on Sidecast. Coming into this, there was actually a lot of people that didn't want to fight me, so I was like one of the only ones that had an open slot on the card. There was a lot of people calling me out, and we had to pick and choose from a lot, and it happened to be a give that they decided on. Looking back, fight fans, the last time they got to see you was a year ago. How important is it for you to get the redemption? It's very important. I've only I've been working so hard for this day. So hard in Cancun, Mexico, in London, Stratford, working every day for this day to destroy Taylor Holder. I'm coming for him. We are here for one purpose and one purpose only, to destroy him, yeah? He does not belong in the ring with us, yeah? Your time, kids.
Oh, they actually showed who the celebs are? That's crazy. See this is when Gibb turned into a little Holder animal, dude. Pass. Woke up ready to shock the world, baby. That's a good defense. The entire YouTube UK is all supporting Gibb. Some of the biggest creators in the world supporting Gibb. Come on, Gibb. Taylor taking a few God, shots. Dude. He's come out very, very If we get that. Ooh. That shit hurt. Oh, that shit hurt. Oh. Yeah, very quickly, that two minutes is up. Good. How are you feeling? Good. That's it. Lovely work. That job is working really nicely. They get that you think we'll get a give well. versus Salt Poppy fight, chat? A give definitely has been the aggressor. He's never been this good looking as far as shape. Ooh. And again, a very, very active Got round for Gibb. A very passive round for Taylor Holder. That overhand's working nicely, so is the body shot. But hooks up says the head now. We've got this, Gibbs. Professional performance. I would have Gibb up to How does stuff nine. like get in your eye? Like, what, what, like... What is floating around in the air? Something. I mean, he's just playing defense. For him the third round, he needs this round. I would agree. Come on, kid. to the head as well. Okay. Yeah? Ooh. So we'll go to the body, I want you upstairs to the head. He keeps dropping his hands down. Hey, 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 kid! Performance! Kid! Performance! Let's go! This is when it all breaks, baby. So look how active he continues to be. And now, Holder. The kid coming right back. He said, this is just the guy that I'm going to go through. And so far, that's exactly what he's done. Taylor Holder, he needs a knockout here in round number five. He better get going. Looking at him tonight, he's got the cardio. He's ready for a real boxing match. He's ready for one that's going to stay on his record forever. Oh, Come on, Kim. One, two, two. One, two, two. Hold on. It looks like an underdog story. And this is a full redemption tonight. Professional performance. Put value back on your name. Put value. Put value back on your name. That's what I'm talking about. Well done. Here are the judges' results for this sanctioned exhibition match. The combined scores put the bout in favor of a majority draw. What? What? How? How? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get out of it. Shit doesn't yeah, even make sense. Is the internet is gonna break it too. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, wow. I don't wanna do it. No, 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 no. Say you go Rob. Say you go Rob. I know y'all man. Oh, no. I know my heart that I won. I was the most dominant. I had the ring. I was owning the ring. And 
in respect to Taylor, but I beat you. I beat you tonight. Today, I beat you. These aren't even my fans. These aren't even my fans, and they're cheering. So I know I won. I was robbed tonight. I worked very hard for this day, and I was robbed. In my heart, I know I won. Come on. This was my head. Tell me a two. Tell me a two. Rap. OK, then. OK, then. OK, then. You know. You know. I can't believe that. It'd just that. be weird. And then, like, the I fact that, like, after that. the judges do that stuff like this, they're allowed to, like, keep judging oh, other fights. Are you fucking bro, kidding me? We were here calling the dogs, bro. Hey, you got raw, bro. Biggest you got raw. Bro. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows you won, bro. Everyone knows you won. Everyone knows you won. Hey, you surprised everybody out there. I know Taylor was like, what the fuck? Damn, bro. The world knows. That's it. In the heart, you know. Everybody saw that. Everybody saw that. What the fuck did they see? Yeah. What did they see? How the fuck was it a draw then? What the fuck was it a draw? Sometimes people do pay. <laughs> Sometimes people get the money out. Hey, you could be blind and still see that you won. Yeah, trust me. Then, I don't know them judges. I don't know what they Wow. The judges are good payment. I can't believe that. I just want to know what it feels like to like sit back after all of this happens. Like, what is the what is it like at, at that point? You know what I mean? That's rigged, man. Majority draw is garbage. Fucking social gloves. So social gloves, the named CEO is Austin McBro. <laughs> and if they just did a simple <laughs> search, they'd be like, the headlining fighter is the CEO? Oh, he, the last no event sense. of Taylor Holdy, you finessed me of the win. And for that, you must pay. I'm telling you right now, he is going to be a walk in the park. Austin McBro and Gib, the main event of social uh -oh. gloves too. Wait, so is, is this new one already out? Wait a second. 50 minutes ago? Oh, you already dropping Gibby? Oh my god, I'm horny.